Tonight is points race number two here at the Red Bluff Outlaws, and more importantly, it is the Tyler Wolf Memorial. What's up YouTube and welcome back to today's video. First off, hope you're all having a great day today. I'm excited to hit the track tonight. Points race number two at the Red Bluff Outlaws, and it's looking pretty good. So last week it was pretty slick because usually just the first race it gets like that because we run play day the night before and the track is pretty hard overnight and so it just it doesn't have as much grip early on and loses it and by the a main event it's super slick and you have to have tons of throttle control i'm thinking tonight might be the same just by looking at the track we just walked it and it has some grip but it just feels it has that hard feeling where it, it, it's gonna go away pretty quick. So that's what I predict. And uh, tonight, like I said, very special one. It is the Tyler Wolf Memorial. Tyler Wolf, one of the best racers to ever step foot here at the Red Bluff Outlaws. He was never an open class champion. It sounded like he was a 250 class champion. And he unfortunately passed away in 2012 in a sprint car accident at the Calis Calistoga Speedway. But uh, I got to watch Tyler race up the Southern Oregon Speedway in sprint cars in a few years here at the Red Bluff Outlaws. And from all the stories I heard and just watching him, he was kind of, he was the type of guy that you could run side by side with for 20 or 25 or 30 laps the whole a main event and you would never touch so i'm glad we get to honor him tonight for the tyler wolf memorial oh what's up buddy tyler wolf memorial tonight i'm glad we get to honor him and it's going to be a show We're getting ready to head out for Red Bluff Outlaw qualifying in the open class and something that I'm so pumped that they are doing this week is single car qualifying just like in the world of Outlaws. So one car will go out, he'll get a warm up lap, then he'll take the green, then the white, then the checkered. So we get two laps and this is just going to make it very exciting. I was talking to Kyler Shaw and he's happy that they're doing it like this because if there's any flip or mishap that someone hasn't qualifying, he'll catch it. And I like single car qualifying because no one can mess up your lap. You get two solid laps and you just get to give it your all. So we're heading out right now. I'll see you guys at the GoPro. weekend 27 28 29 somewhere right in there October. where did we end up p6 p6 uh went out early which kind of saved me i didn't feel the greatest out there carly how did you end up 12. 12. so carly and i had some pretty decent qualifying runs we're going to be heading out i think i'll be in the first heat she'll be in the four 250 heat race and really just excited to get after it. i didn't have that great of a lap uh, i just kind of got saved by the sense that i went out early and the track got worse so we put down an 8.5 i think quick time was an 8.35 heat race will be coming up soon we're going to make some adjustments to the setup and hopefully it'll be much faster for the heat we're heading out for our open class heat race right now just finishing up and for the second week in a row I have the 91 last year's track champion in the open class Tyler CV on my outside last week though we were flip-flopped in the second row he was on the inside and I was on the outside we have Lucas Ash Brian Hubert ahead of me and this is just gonna get real interesting so it's gonna be fun we need to get in the top two to transfer tonight's a main event and we have Jesse Caldwell on the bench oh boy. Tanner Holmes, he was laying it all out on the line right there, and it cost him. Now Brian Hubert to the inside of Ash. He takes the transfer. Now Ash back to his inside. Look at Holmes. Two for the price, so one down in the three and four. They wow. Were, they were three wide out of turn number four that time. Somehow Tanner... Brian Hubert is making his way back to the front. White flags out. He's gotten by two cars. 
He's looking to get by Lucas Ash on the final lap. The top two drive. Oh, Ash almost into the back straight wall. Hubert goes in there, gets him sideways. Somehow he doesn't kill it. He ends up third. I'm not sure what officials are going to do about that one. We just got done with the heat race. Topher, what's the saying you use about the main event? You know, there's only one way to win it. You got to be in it to win it. Yep, that's right. So we made it to the A main event, started third in the heat race, was able to make some moves, and I don't know how I got second. Early on it. Go fast and turn left. That's right, dude. Go fast, turn left. Uh, I got going early on. I was in third, and then I threw a slider for second, which I was clear, and I got a little loose, and we made contact the second myself in the third place car. So the third place car got into second, and I fell back to fourth because it just messed me up. I thought I was going for a ride. And then we got back going. I kind of caught both of them. They were kind of screwing around a little bit. They were just going at each other. And I slid both of them. I don't even know how. It felt like iRacing. But we're in the A main event tonight, and I'm just pumped about that. And uh, Tyler Stevie was gone. Uh, I kind of think I maybe had something for him, but I didn't want to do anything too crazy because I didn't want to take both of us out, and I didn't want to take myself out because I was in a transfer spot. All the open heats are up there right now. I'm going to go watch, and then I'll be showing you guys the track. We are down here in turns one and two, and Ollie, the promoter, just did something you don't see him do too often, and that is throw a little bit of water on the racetrack. Usually, unless it's West Coast Nationals, he doesn't touch the racetrack at all. You know, after packing, it's just whatever it is, it is. And that's a good thing because then it gets slick. It's never like just a lot of hammer down racing. And the sliders are good, the bottom's good, the top's good. So I don't know what his, what his thought process was really here. It could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing. We'll really just have to see once the racing starts, but it's not gonna hold up too much. The tracks, like I said earlier in the video, it's very hard and uh, the moisture's not gonna get, you know, it's just gonna blow off and then uh, in the A main event, it'll be back to slick. The trophy dash is over. Uh, I started on the pole, I finished second. I, I almost had it there, I actually thought I was gonna get it. We were going down the back straightaway, I was inside the leader and he just, he turned the left side blinker on and I got sent in the infield. So we ended up finishing second, I recovered. I think I probably had the fastest time. First and second, we pulled away from the field, we had lots of speed and gave me a head out for the A main event. I started on the pole and I'm pretty sure it's like pretty much the same lineup as the dash. Uh, inside 18T, 1C outside, and then I think it goes 01 Carson Souza, 77X Jake Park, 91, uh, Mr. Nitro, Tyler CV. But the open A main is coming up. Before uh, we head to that, I do have one clip I have to play. They asked the top two, myself and Chase Hill, if you're gonna take the Fast Forward Media Back Road Challenge, which is if we go to the back and we win, we get $1,100. Here's the clip. As you guys know, last week, Kylan Shaw announced that he's gonna do the Fast Forward Back Road Challenge this season. And what that means is the two drivers on the front row of the main event will get to decide if they wanna go to the back of the field for $1,000. Pretty cool, right? Well, this week, we've got a little bit of an added bonuses and incentives to help you guys make that decision. Kevin Share Designs has thrown in an extra $100, so it's now $1,100 to whoever goes to the back and is able to come back up and win the race. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have you, Tim Holmes, are you willing to take the back row challenge presented by Kevin Share Designs? Uh, it's, a tough, it's a tough question. I mean, that's a lot of money, but overall, we're here to win the championship. And and like I said, it'd be nice to win, but I don't know, you might spend a thousand dollars trying to get to the front, so. I love that Kyler's doing this, and it's an awesome, it's an awesome deal. But, uh, can I just hold it for a second? Yes! You hold it, you tell me you're gonna take it. I'll let you hold it. If you tell me you're gonna take it, I, I mean, I'd like to win tonight, so I think I'm just gonna have to say no, but it, I like that Kyler's doing this, and thank you. And maybe if I'm not on points running later, we'll, we'll do it when it's up around two grand. All right, get out of here. We're moving on. Yes. We're going to be pushing the cars out to the grid here in about five minutes. The box stocks are almost over and we start on the pole. Let's make it a good night and finish off. We second in the dash, second in the heat, sixth in qualifying. It'd be nice to get a first in the A main event. We're heading out for the feature. We start on the pole just like last year when we start on the pole. We really want to win and last year we were able to get it done for our first open A main event win of my career and my first ever at Red Bull. This place is special. Tonight's a special race with the Tyler Memorial and hopefully we can get it done for him. Let's head out. Get on your feet, wave a small child as we honor Tyler Wolf here this evening. These drivers gonna go four wide in salute, not only to you, the fans, but in salute to Tyler Wolf as we remember 
a young man that was taken from us six years ago today out of turn number four. Put your hands together for the Red Bluff Outlaws. One's for you, Tyler Wolf. Red Bluff Outlaws, we got them racked. We got them stuck, and we've got the grandstands packed. Let's go racing off of turn number four. We are green. Well, a rough start for the 18T at Tanner Holmes, and we stay green. That was interesting. Tanner Holmes got run over by the 0-1 of Carson Souza. The green light stays on. Chase Hill out front, your early leader. Yeah, Chase Hill up front. Last week's main event winner, Jake Park, in the second spot in front of 77. Next, here comes Tanner Holmes down to the inside of Daniel Whitley. Holmes takes back over the third spot after that rough start. Yeah, we'll see if Tanner Holmes is able to close back up on the 77X at Jake Park now. Park and Chase Hill up front in charge of this one early on. Yeah, a couple of young guns on the backside of the top line, including Tanner Holmes, Daniel Whitley, and the 15-year-old Carson Perkins on 35. Behind Perkins, it's last year's champion, the 91 of Tyler Seavey. Right now, Chase Hill uncontested out front in the Harvest Clothing Company number one seed. Jake Park trying to reel him in, but has not been able to make anything happen. Here comes Tyler Seavey into the top five. Tyler Seavey with a slide job, completes it on the 35. And Perkins gets sideways, collects Carson Souza, Bryn Everhart, and Brian McGann Jr. Looks like about a three or four car pile up over there in turn number two. Here we go out of turn four, back to the green flag. Tanner Holmes right back in the mix of things now in the third spot. Now he gets clear of the 57 of Daniel Whitley. Now he's working on Jake Park down to the inside. Shows him the nose right there, but Park clears him down the front straight away. Yeah, the one seed trying to get as far away as he can on this restart. Chase Hill wants nothing to do with what's coming behind him. Tanner Holmes to second as he goes by Jake Park. Holmes with a great move to get by Park. Now Daniel Whitley does the same thing to Tyler Seavey. Seavey grabs the break and nearly half spins out, loses another spot. How about Nate Lynch looking for a top five right now? Yeah, Nate Lynch looking great tonight. He's looked great all night long. Now fighting with the 91 of Tyler Seavey. Move Lynch by Seavey and into the sixth spot. Now Brandon Lachance going to the inside, trying to work the bottom of the race, trying to get by the 57 of Daniel Whitley. Once again, Lachance, a former Tyler Wood Memorial winner, trying to make it two for his trophy case. Don't look now, Tanner Holmes reeling in the one C at Chase Hill. Lap after lap, he takes a chunk out of the lead. He's on the tail tank. We're gonna have a barn burner the last 10 laps of this one. And oh, into the wall right in front of your leaders, the 31 of Kenton Peacock in turn four. Something definitely broke on that car. Nine laps to go, the lights are out. Chase Hill, Tanner Holmes, turn them loose once again. Tanner Holmes with a great start, slides in front of the one seed, Chase Hill. Hill's gonna turn it back to the inside, but Holmes blocks the line. We come down at less than eight laps to go. A huge restart for Tanner Holmes. He gets the lead and now he's trying to drive away in the 18T. Holmes looking for his second career win in the open class as now he continues to pull away. That car is absolutely lights out tonight. The crew at QRC, Jimmy Ellis, and the whole gang absolutely put the super tune on that thing right now as he is driving away from last year's runner-up in the point standings. Five laps to go now for Tanner Holmes. The young YouTube sensation from Jacksonville, Oregon, is now four laps away from his second career win. Brandon Lachance going to work on his teammate Jake Park for the four spot. Lachance has not left the bottom of the racetrack almost the entire race, and right now it's worked for him as he's just on the back side of the top five. Nate Lynch still having a great night as well, just outside of the top five in the 56. Lynch, really one of the underrated drivers here in this field, looking great. White flag in the hand of flagman Johnny Miskell. Down the front straightaway one more time around, Elijah. Tanner Holmes down the back straightaway. He's looking for the Tyler Wolf Memorial, Memorial title. He'll get it off at of turn number four. Tanner Holmes is your winner. Chase Hill second. Tanner Holmes put on a textbook maneuver there on Chase Hill to take the lead with about eight laps to go and never looked back, absolutely drove away from the one C. Chase Hill's gotta be scratching his head right now. He's gonna have to go back to the drawing board after that one. 
Steering wheel coming out of the 18T. He's gonna climb out of this thing in the infield. Parks it right next to the 19 car, or 19 number in the infield. And here comes a ton of people down in the infield to congratulate Tanner Holmes. Hugs from Ali Abbasi. Big Papa Tof down there. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for your Tyler Wolf Memorial winner, Tanner Holmes. <laughs> And I believe Jimmy Elledge, the owner of this car, is not even here tonight. I'm sure he's watching at home, but Jimmy Elledge, I guess they don't need you anymore, buddy. Jesse Caldwell put this, the super tune on that thing tonight and took it to victory lane. Elijah, down to you. All right, thank you, Chase, letting Tanner get the gloves off, get the helmet off. He's already got the fan club out here on the infield with him. Let him get some of the safety gear off. How about it? Let's hear it for Tanner Holmes, your open main event winner here this evening. Tanner, your second main event win in the open class here, the Tyler Wolf Memorial. I know this means so much to you, man. Yeah, I've been wanting to win this race for a while, and uh, Tyler, he was an outstanding driver. I was fortunate to get to watch him uh, race his last few seasons here, and I've talked to some of his family. They actually, I know one of them watches the vlogs, which is really cool, and it sounds like a great family. I'm glad we get to honor him tonight, and to win this race, it, means everything. It's one of the most prestigious at Red Bluff and to get to battle with those guys was good and I knew I had to time my, my restart perfect and who we got him. But uh, I got to thank Jesse Caldwell for being on the wrenches tonight. I wish Jimmy could be here. I, Jimmy, I bet you're watching Fast Four. Uh, got to thank Factory QRC. And, but Jesse, he did everything right tonight on the wrenches and my dad and everyone for helping us change the motor mount before the A. Well, tell me about r racing the 1C. It seems like every time you guys are on the track together, you're right with each other. Uh, earlier in the dash, you guys had a good battle, and then on that restart, you were able to snooker the lead away from him. Yeah, we, uh, we, made s we ran the trophy dash. That was some good racing. We made some contact, and uh, I knew in the A-Main event, I had to be better, better than what I was, and to get more aggressive. And I don't know what happened on that initial start. I made contact with someone. I don't know what happened. And I knew my race wasn't over. I was pumped to be starting fourth. And I just got going. I was able to slide park. And I was kind of disappointed to see the yellow. I knew we were definitely better long run, short run, than it seemed like everyone. So it was disappointing to get that yellow. But, dude, we timed the restart perfect. And we're Tyler Wolf Memorial champs. All right, there you go. Congratulations, buddy. Tanner Holmes, your 2018 Tyler Wolf Memorial champion. There you go. Hey. We did it. We did it, guys. We did it. What can I say about tonight besides we did it? Our second career win in the open class for Factory QRC. And we did it. Tell we, we did it. Oh, it, it feels so good. I mean, Topher and I, uh, Topher runs the QRC trailer, if you guys have been watching the vlogs, and uh, Topher and I, we get along very well, and he's pumped. We got the win. I'm so glad for Factory QRC. Uh, it was cool. I just read Jimmy Elledge's tweet. He said, you know, he was pumped about this win, and how how much it means to QRC because Chuck Wolf, Tyler's dad, was such a close friend um, of everyone here. So I'm glad we were able to get this win, and I'm so pumped. There's a few more people I want to thank. I want to thank Burris Racing Tire, Jenny Durst, Jet Fitness, everyone, Durst Racing for supporting Burris Racing. I think I already said that. I'm just going on and on. Uh, and then also I want to thank Kevin Sher Designs and everyone that's on the Factory QRC car, and most of all, Jimmy Elledge and Factory QRC for the opportunity. I love when I get to win for these guys. It's so fun, and I just love what I do. We're getting ready to do uh, the trophy presentation here soon. I'm so excited. All right, I'm back here. Buddy, you've been in the vlogs before. What's your name? Corbin C. Corbin. And what happened tonight? What happened tonight for you? How's your results? Um, I, when I was like, um, on towers, um, I accidentally tapped his book. Where'd you, where'd you start? Where'd you start? Last. And where'd you finish? First. We both won tonight. First career win in the Red Bluff, at the Red Bluff Fallows, right? Yeah. Congrats. How does it feel to win at Red Bluff? Good. It's awesome. Is it? Is yeah. it? Is it your best? Is it your favorite win you've ever had? Yeah. Dude, congrats. We both got it done. Corbin and I have been best friends all season and last season. And yeah. I'm glad, dude. You you had some success and you got the win tonight. Many more to come, hopefully for both of us. All right, we have trophy presentations coming next. Here's the trophy. I wanted to show you earlier in the night what we were racing for, but this is the Tyler Wolf Memorial Open 2018 trophy and one of the coolest ones you can get at the Red Bluff Outlaws. I've been wanting to win this thing for a while. The first year, uh, I won it in the 250 division and they had a different kind of trophy, but this is definitely the coolest and been wanting to check this one off the list for a while. Topher, 
What's it like when you like? What's it like when you when you win and when our team wins? Well, it's one thing to to win it. It's one thing to win it when you're low on help, and it's one thing to do it when you just got a feeling. And yeah, that is true. I think we had a feeling tonight. We had a feeling. We Every a time feeling. we've had a feeling, we've, we've won. So yeah. two for two on having a feeling. That's right. But yeah, uh, when he says we were low on help tonight, uh, Jimmy Elledge unfortunately wasn't able to be here because he's getting all the cars ready for the KKM Give Back Classic. And he was in North Carolina. He just tweeted and everything. And I'm so happy to get this win for him. I mean, Jesse Call was on the wrenches tonight. He did everything he needed to do for us to have success. And I can't wait to see Jimmy give him a big hug. And can't wait to be back with uh, Jimbo for points race number three at the Rebel Fallows. And get to send this trophy back to QRC. Two in a row for Factory QRC. Casey McLean got it done last year. I was able to pick it up this year. So uh, that's going to end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to cherish this one. We're getting on a plane tomorrow night, and we'll be heading to North Carolina for the KKM Give Back Classic. But once again, I want to thank all my sponsors, Burst Racing Tire, Factory QRC, Jenny Durst, and uh, all she does, Jet Fitness. And uh, she sponsors QRC Carts and helps us out a lot, and she's a main sponsor for us. Yeah! Woo! I, I can't do that, so. But uh, I think I maybe I think I maybe forgot someone. Who did I forget on the QRC car? Uh, we got Kevin Sherr Designs, Burst Racing Tire, Durst, and Factory QRC. I think that's it. Yep. All right. So thank you guys for watching. Got to thank all my sponsors. Dur RV. Oh, and my sponsors. I got Durango RV, Lafarge North America, Modern Machinery. All you guys for watching the vlogs and. We got our win and we checked it off earlier in the season. And I'm glad I'm hoping for many more. But let's say this one. I'll see you guys all in the next video. North Carolina coming soon. Deuces. It's the next day now. I'm still pumped about last night's win. I'm still smiling from ear to ear. I keep re-watching the A-Main event and just seeing what a race it was and how much fun it was to be out there and throw slide jobs and Overall, I mean, when you win, it's just it's a, it's a bunch of fun in racing at the Red Bluff Foul Laws. But one thing I meant to do last night in the vlog and I didn't get a chance to is I wanted to thank Kyler Shaw and Fast Forward Media for allowing me to use his footage. Uh, he is the best of the best for filming in the Northwest, California and Oregon. I know he has outlaw carts, micros, and sprint cars. And now he's been going to work for Toyota and doing lots of cool stuff in the Midwest and on the East Coast. Kyler and I are really good buddies and he is linked in the description below. I highly recommend you go check out the highlights from these events, uh, the outlaw carts, sprint cars, micros, all of that. And then I think here pretty soon for some of the upcoming points races at the Red Bluff Outlaws. I'm gonna like put out a code you can use, like code Tanner, for example, and then you get $5 off the broadcast. So uh, stay tuned for a code that'll be coming out. You guys will be able to uh, watch the Fast Forward Media broadcast for a little bit cheaper. And Kyler and I, we love working together and uh, we both love what we do. So I highly recommend you go check out Kyler Shaw and Fast Forward Media. Like I said, always linked in the description below. But yeah, I'll see you guys all in North Carolina. Deuces.